In this video, we are going to define the angle of inclination of a line, learn some of its properties, a formula that we can use to calculate the angle of inclination, and look at some examples where we apply that formula. So, the angle of inclination of a line is the angle formed between the line and the x-axis, measured in an anti-clockwise direction. Now, it is important that you know the properties of an angle of inclination. First is that it is always measured in an anti-clockwise direction. This means it cannot be a negative angle because negative angles are measured anti-clockwise. Okay, so if I have my y-axis and my x-axis and I have a line, if I measure in a clockwise direction, I am measuring a negative angle. By definition, that is not the angle of inclination of that line. The angle of inclination is the angle measured from the x-axis in a clockwise direction. Okay. The second property is that the angle of inclination is always only ever an angle between 0 degrees and 180 degrees. Okay, so if you think about that, we know that the angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so if I have a line that sits there, if I were to measure the angle of inclination as going beyond 180 degrees, it would go there, but it's redundant because I could just be measuring this acute angle. Okay, so there's no need for angles to be beyond 180 degrees. The third quadrant is that if the gradient of a line is positive, the angle of inclination will be acute. Okay, so let's look at a line with a positive gradient. Okay, those are lines that are increasing. The angle of inclination will always be acute. So, if we look at other positive angles, okay, sorry, as other positive um, gradients of lines, so this graph is still increasing, the, the angle is still less than 90 degrees. Okay, then I might have a vertical line, okay, so then my gradient is neither positive or negative, because if for a vertical line the gradient is undefined, okay, but that would be a 90 degree angle of inclination. Once I go further than 90 degrees, so beyond it being acute, I actually have a decreasing graph, which so it is only lines that have positive gradients that have acute angles. Okay, and as alluded to, if the gradient of a line is negative, okay, a decreasing line has a negative gradient, the angle of inclination will be obtuse, which means the size of the angle is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So keep these properties in mind as we continue. So there is a very simple formula that we can use to calculate the angle of inclination. And that formula is tan theta equals m, where theta represents your angle of inclination, and m is the gradient of the line. Okay, now let's understand this formula. Okay. So tan, we know from trigonometry, is equal to y over x or opposite over the adjacent side. Okay, so let's look at this line here, okay, that we have in the diagram. And I can form a right angle triangle. So if I choose neat coordinates. Okay, I can read the coordinates there very easily. They are 4, 6, so a point with neat coordinates. And this point here, whose coordinates are 1 and 0. 
and I draw a vertical line from that point to where it would meet my horizontal line from the other point I chose, I have a right angle triangle. And included in that right angle triangle is our angle of inclination theta. Okay, now an angle of inclination doesn't have to be called theta, you can actually name it anything as long as you substitute it into the correct part of the formula. Okay, so if we look at our right angle triangle here, the side opposite theta is the side over here, which is a vertical length. And to calculate the length of a vertical line, we take the top y value minus the bottom y value. So say, um, let's say y top minus y bottom, if you like, okay? That could also be y2 minus y1. You get the idea, okay? It's the change in y coordinates. Okay, so let's just quickly calculate the length here. My coordinates of this point are 4, 0. So the change in y values would be 6 minus 0, which is 6, okay? Now, this that's the side opposite. So opposite side would be the change in y coordinates, okay? The adjacent side to theta lies here. This is the adjacent side, okay? Now that is a horizontal line. And to calculate a horizontal length, we take the change in the x-coordinates, okay? So the x-coordinate on the right minus the x-coordinate on the left, or x2 minus x1, if you like. And in this specific case, that would be 4 minus 1, which is 3. Okay, but in general, the adjacent side would be calculated as the change in x. Now, change in y over change in x, what does that remind you of? That is our gradient formula. So, tan of the angle of inclination is equal to the gradient of the line. So, let's look at some um, special lines whose gradients you should just know. Sorry, the gradient you should know, um, whose angles of inclination you sh should know. Okay, and we're going to... Show, I'm going to show you how we would use the formula to calculate this angle of inclination. So, the graph of y equals x. The gradient of this graph is 1. And the angle of inclination of this line is 45 degrees. And in fact, the angle of inclination of any line with a gradient of 1 will be 45. Okay, but let's look at how we would use the formula to calculate the angle of inclination. So tan theta equals m. So if this is theta, okay, we can substitute the gradient. So the gradient is 1 in this case. To solve for theta, you would press shift tan to find this arc tan option on your calculator. And then substitute the 1. So shift tan of 1. And if you press equals on your calculator, that will give you 45 degrees. Okay. Then we have the graph of y equals negative x. Now the gradient of this graph is negative 1 and the angle of inclination is 135 degrees. And in fact, the angle of inclination of any line with a gradient of negative 1 will be 135. So the gradients, I'm um, sorry, the angle of inclination of the lines that have gradient of 1 or negative 1, those are the only two angles of inclination that you should ideally know off by heart. Okay, but let's look at how we would use the formula to calculate this. Okay, so we have tan theta equals the gradient, and in this case, the gradient is negative 1. So to find theta, if this is theta, okay, I would again press shift tan and now of negative 1. Okay, now your calculator will tell you that that is negative 45 degrees. But from the properties of an angle of inclination, we learned that your angle of inclination can never be negative 
and it can only ever be an angle between 0 degrees and 180 degrees. So what's going on here? Okay, your calculator has in fact given you this negative angle here, negative 145. It's correct in the sense that um, tan of negative 45 degrees would give you negative 1, but it is not the correct answer. It's not an angle of inclination. Okay, so to find the an angle of inclination, so to turn this negative angle into a positive angle, we would add 180 degrees. Okay, so you will have to remember to add 180 degrees, and that gives us an angle of inclination of 135 degrees. So don't always trust your calculator. Use your brain. Okay, third example. So finding the angle of inclination of a line with a positive gradient. So find the angle of inclination of the line that passes through the points 1, 1 and 2, 4 shown on the left. So here's the point 1, 1 and here's the point 2, 4. Okay, so if we want to calculate the angle of inclination, the angle of inclination sits there and let's call it something other than theta. Okay, so let's call it alpha. So to calculate the angle of inclination, I have the formula tan alpha equals the gradient of the line. Okay, now I can use the formula for gradient to calculate the gradient. So it's the change in the y coordinates, so it's 4 minus 1 over the change in x coordinates, 2 minus 1. That simplifies to 3 over 1, which is 3. Now to solve for alpha, alpha is equal to the shift tan option, which is arctan of 3, and that gives you a value of 71,5 degrees. Now angles are generally rounded off to one decimal place unless you are told otherwise. And our final example Finding the angle of inclination of a line with a negative gradient. Find the angle of inclination of the graph of y equals negative x minus 2 drawn alongside. Okay, so this one's actually easy because we've already looked at an example with a gradient of negative 1. But let's just do this again. Okay, so here is our angle of inclination. So from the x-axis to the line in an anti-clockwise direction. Let's call it something completely different, beta. So tan beta equals the gradient of the line. And from the equation, we know that the gradient is negative 1. If you use your calculator to calculate beta, using shift tan of negative 1, your calculator will tell you that that is negative 45 degrees. You must remember you cannot have a negative angle and that you must add 180 degrees to give you a positive angle of inclination of 135 degrees in this case.